friends welcome back to the lecture number 24 of chapter 6 and in this lecture we are going to solve three questions from exercise 6.3 which is based on the triangle and its property basically it is based on two theorems theorem number 6.7 and 6.8 so here is the first question let us start so in the first question it is given that it is a figure and in this figure SPR angle is 135 degree, right? SPR, this angle is 135 degree. And PQT angle, PQT angle is 110 degree. Basically, these two are exterior angle of this triangle PQR. Okay? Now, from the following data, you have to find the value of the angle PRQ. So we have to find which value P R Q this value. Okay, how we can find it? See solution. As we know, it is a straight line. S Q is a straight line. Yes or no? Yes. And on this straight line, P R ray stands. Okay. And P R stands on it. Then we know two totally two angles are formed, this angle and this angle, and sum of these two angle is 180. Suppose this angle is x. Okay, then you know that x plus this angle is equal to 180 degree. So x will be 180 degree minus 135 degree, that is 45 degree. So here we find the value of x, that is how much? That is 45. Understood. But your target is to find this angle. Okay. Now, consider this exterior angle. Okay. As we know, PQT angle is equal to, according to the theorem 6.8, the exterior angle is equal to sum of two interior opposite angle. So, this angle is equal to this angle plus this angle. Okay, suppose you take this angle as y, right? So you can write PQT is equal to this angle plus y angle because these two are interior opposite angle of the exterior angle PQT. Okay, now PQT is 110 plus y. So 45 plus y is equal to 110 implies y is equal to 110 minus 45. Okay? That is how much? 65 degree. Hence, we find the value of y and x. So, this y will be 65 degree. Okay? So, in this way, you can find the value of P, R and Q angle. And you also need to find this angle's value. Okay? Now question number one is clear. Coming to the second question. As you can see in the second question, there is also a figure. Okay. So it is one triangle. It is another triangle. So there are two triangles. Okay. Triangle XYZ and OYZ. They have the same base. Clear. Now let us understand the data. It is given that this angle is 62 degree. Which angle? Y, X, Z. So you have Y, X, Z angle is 62 degree. Okay? And X, Y, Z angle X, Y, Z that means this total angle is 54 degree. So the total angle is 54 degree. We don't know this angle. We don't know this angle. We only know the total angle x, y and z. Right? Now it is given that y, o is the bisector of angle x, y, z. y, o is the bisector of angle x, y, z. That means this line is the bisector of this angle. What is the meaning of angle bisector? An angle bisector is the line which divides an angle into two equal halves. That means that means this half is equal to this half. Since the total angle is 54 degree, then one half will be how much? Half of 54. 
right so it will be 54 half that is how much 27 degree so this angle is 27 degree understood and this angle is also 27 degree clear now ZO is also the bisector of angle X, Z, Y. X, Z, Y. So, this is the total angle. Now, it is given that ZO is the angle bisector. It means this angle is equal to this angle. According to the data given in the question. Now, you have to find O, Z, Y. O, Z, Y. This angle, suppose this angle is X. And Y, O, Z. Y, O, Z. This angle. Suppose this angle is Y. So, we have to find this angle, the small angle and this angle. Okay. So, let us find. Since it is a triangle. Triangle is X, Y, Z. Now, in the triangle X, Y, Z, the sum of three angle is 180 degree. So, this angle plus this angle, total angle, because I am taking the total or larger triangle. Okay. So, 54 degree plus this angle. This angle is angle Z. Is equal to 180 degree. Okay. Now, 62 plus 54 is 116. Uh, plus Z is equal to 180 degree. Now, Z is equal to 180 degree minus 116 degree that is 64 degree. So we find the value of angle Z. That means the total angle is 64 degree. This is 64 degree. But Z is the angle bisector. So you divide it into two equal halves. Then each half will be how much? Each half will be half of 64. That is 32 degree. So this angle is 32 degree. Right, and this X, this is also 32. Okay, because zero is the angle bisector. Clear? Now you find this angle. That means O Z Y. Okay. So I'm writing here O Z Y is equal to how much? 32 degree. You have already this angle. That means O Y Z. How much? 27 degree. Now. It is also a triangle. OYZ also a triangle. Okay. So for triangle OYZ, this angle plus this angle plus this angle is equal to how much? 180 degree. Right. So this angle plus this angle plus this angle is equal to 180 degree. Now, y is equal to 180 degree minus at this two angle 30, 20, 50, 59. So, it will be minus 59 degree. Okay. So, we get 121 degree. And so, we find the value of the angle y. Okay. Our target is to find this value. So, we find y is equal to 121 degree. y means y o j. So, this angle is 121 degree. Next, OZY angle. Already we have found OZY. This angle. How much? 64 by 2, 32. So this angle is 32 degree. Okay. So it is very easy question. You can easily do it. Now coming to the question number 3. In the question number 3, it is given that it is a figure, and in this figure, a B line is parallel to D line. It is given. Okay. So, these two straight lines are parallel. That means you can draw a symbol like this. These two lines are parallel. And this angle is 35 degree. B A E. This angle is 35 degree. And this angle C D is 53 degree. And from this data, you have to find the value of the angle. DCE, DCE, that means this angle. Okay, suppose we take this angle as X. So we have to find the value of this angle DCE, that is X. How? 
let us let us find okay see since ab line is parallel to d line and this is a transversal line which line ae so ab line is parallel to d and ae is transversal okay we consider only this line a which intersect a b line at a b line at e so this a is a transversal line okay now this angle and this angle are known as which type of angle they are known as alternate interior angle see suppose this is a b this is d e right and a e is transversal then this angle is equal to this angle because they are alternate interior angle right so we can write this angle is equal to this angle if it is 35 degree then what is the value of this angle it is also 35 degree so b a e is equal to a e d or c e d is equal to how much 35 degree why because they are alternate uh, interior okay understood next your target is to find this value now consider this as a triangle c d e for triangle c d e okay sum of the three angle is 180 degree so x degree plus 53 degree plus 35 degree is equal to 180 degree it is due to theorem number 6.7 okay so x plus 88 is equal to 180 degree and x is equal to 180 degree minus 88 degree that is 92 degree so we find the unknown value of variable x hence this angle x is equal to 92 degree understood it is clear coming to the next question in this figure you can see there are two triangle triangle scq and triangle ptr okay so in this two triangle some data are given that this angle is 75 degree tsq angle is 75 degree this angle tpr is 95 degree and prt angle is 40 degree okay by using this data you have to find the value of the angle sqt sqt that means this angle suppose this angle is x okay for our convenience we take it as x now how can you find this angle let's solve solution okay see this is a triangle ptr so for triangle ptr or prt sum of three angle this angle plus this angle plus this angle is equal to 180 degree due to theorem number 6.7 so 95 plus 40 plus this angle ptr is equal to 180 degree due to theorem 6.7 okay so 94 135 degree plus ptr is equal to 180 degree implies ptr is equal to 180 degree minus 135 degree that is 45 degree so we find the value of the angle ptr is 45 degree so this is 45 degree. but your target is to find this angle that means you have to switch from this triangle to this triangle how see if this is a straight line pq and another straight line rs are intersecting each other at a common point t this line and this line intersect at t are intersecting at t yes or no yes then we know the 
two opposite angles are known as vertically opposite angles and the vertically opposite angles are equal so this angle and this angle are vertically opposite angle and they are also equal so it will be also 45 degree why because it is 45 degree okay so this angle stq is equal to this angle ptr is equal to how much uh, sorry 45 degree why vertically opposite angle okay now it becomes very easy consider this triangle stq for triangle stq sum of three angle is 180 degree so 75 degree plus 45 degree plus x is equal to 180 degree so it will be uh, 120 degree plus x is equal to 180 degree so x is 180 degree minus 120 degree is equal to 60 degree hence we find the value of unknown variable x that is 60 degree and also we need to find this angle and we have also find it that the value of this angle is 60 degree